Cinemara's priest, originally from New Zealand, but for the last 25 years or so in Asia. Uh, I've had 18 years in the Philippines, in the southern Philippines, uh, on the island of Mindanao. And after that, we had, I've had the last eight or nine years uh, between Burma and Thailand. Burma originally, and then uh, on the Thai-Burma border based in Thailand. We are called to be a missionary congregation, but it's, we are called to cross boundaries, to cross borders, and to bring good news to the poor. That's what we were founded for uh, nearly 200 years ago, and that's what we're still called to do today. Uh, however, the boundaries used to be clearly geographic, that we always went to another country, and often far away. These days of international travel and uh, mass communications, often the boundaries are, are social boundaries or uh, different types of boundaries. But the, but the important thing about being a missionary, and Amaris being a missionary, is that uh, we're prepared to, to break out of our comfort zone we're prepared to go where people are really struggling and whatever that might mean in the context and we bring good news to them and because we are Marists we do it in a particular way which is the way of Mary, a way of compassionate presence, a way of nurturing and a way of growth. Another thing about being a Marist missionary is that from the very earliest time a phrase that came from our founder, Father Colin, was that Marists were called to be hidden and unknown. And uh, we always interpreted that, that we as Marists were called to be hidden and unknown, and, and I'm sure that's what he meant, and there's a great wisdom and beauty in that. But for me as a missionary now, I see it as much richer than that, that Marists as missionaries are called to go with people who are hidden and unknown, and stand beside them, and be in solidarity with them, and give them hope and new life. Um, People who are desperately poor are by their very nature hidden. Nobody wants to see them. Nobody wants to know their names. They are the hidden and unknown ones. So it's not about I must be hidden and unknown, or not only that. Much more it's I go and stay with the most, with the poorest. I stay with them, struggle with them, give them hope. And then those who are hidden and unknown I have a greater sense of justice a greater sense of their own dignity and respect for self. For me, the, the one who uh, really gives us the fire for the mission is, is well, two, 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 really. It comes from a, from a deep prayer life. It comes from a sense of participating in, in God's life himself, and God is mission. A life of the church, our church is mission. But in practice, what that often means is it's the, it's the poor person on the floor crying out for help. It's the little kid who hasn't got any hope for education. It's the person really struggling and bringing up in the middle of the night and asking for help. They are the ones who give you a fire for mission because their needs are so great. They're asking, they're crying out for help. And when in fact you go and help them, they convert us. They actually give us much more than we give them. We might be able to help them through this or that crisis, but they teach us the attitude of heart that is the heart of Christ, which is one of total dependence on God and on providence and of uh, desperate need, they convert us to, to, to missionary, to a missionary heart. Or cooking up another book of dreams With our mission on the line We know that it's our time To take what will surprise us girls And let the Spirit show us how to be so let's take what we'll surprise ourselves and let the Spirit show us how to be.